Well, I am pure. We're always trying to innovate. We're always trying to grow. Compared to other best available technologies, right, the ion pure module makes better quality, it uses fewer chemicals, and requires lower maintenance. And all these factors result in greater uptime. When we're thinking about developing future products, we like to look at what we think our customers are going to need in the future. So in this case, it was really empowering to have specific customer requirements in mind, and that really drove the, the specification and the product development. So all products go through a very robust product development process. Usually it begins with a concept and then we conduct finite element analysis. We do a bit of process simulation, material compatibility analysis, and then eventually we go through product life cycle testing where we actually subject it to real world conditions. The challenges and the opportunities that we faced were specifically to design a product that is reducing the footprint at the same time, we had to enhance value by more boron removal. The quality specifications of the water were, were so pure that we had difficulties finding laboratories capable of testing to that level of quality. And we're looking really at, at ultra-pure water to, to single parts per trillion contaminant level, and that was really pushing the state-of-the-art of analysis capabilities. When you change the ion exchange resin, you have to do a lot of trial and error to make sure you get the packing right because that packing density in, in the cell affects the electrical resistance, the pressure drop, and the performance to a great degree. Sustainability is a huge piece. Um, it's one of the, the reasons why we believe that IMPure and EDI has done so well. We remove the requirement of regenerant chemicals. So acid and caustic are the two primary chemicals that are used to regenerate ion exchange resins. And we don't use those in our process. So the VNX Ultra product was developed to, to meet the, the newest and advancing requirements of the microelectronics industry. As those requirements of the market continue to advance, we will continue to develop and improve the, the EDI technology. You know, there's a whole slew of applications where IMPure could be appropriate. This team is the future from quality to manufacturing to engineering to uh, technology and innovation where we dynamically create environments for innovation.